Hello friends, today we will discuss about the sugarcane production and pest management part 2. Uh, previously we have discussed about the part 1. If you do not see in the part 1, uh, I especially suggest to go to the part 1 where we have discussed about uh, about the borer pest of the sugarcane. So in this part 2, uh, we will be discussing about the sucking pest of sugarcane, sucking pest complex of sugarcane. So, sucking pest, what really are the sucking pests? So, sucking pest, it is based on the mouth part. So, best example you can understand through uh, seeing this uh, pentatomid bug. Sucking insects having the two canal, one is salivary canal and one is a food canal. And uh, the stylet is made up of the maxillary stylet, one pair of maxillary stylet which used to be in the inner side and other is the mandibular stylet which, you, which used to be at the outer side. So, all together it form the, the labrum portion, it form the rostrum and all together it is called as a beak. So, uh, in sucking paste complex of sugarcane, the first is the leaf hopper that is Pyrilla purpusilla belong to the family Lophophidae of the order Hemiptera. Okay, so here first the important thing need to be understand that how you will identify the insect. So here the nymph, nymph is uh, nymph having the posterior uh, string which is covered with the cottony scale and the adult you can see here roof like structure, the four wing fold in a roof like manner and mouth is in a snouted way the rostrum projected outside so it looks at the snout snout mouth so the symptom how you will identify the leaves become yellow covered with black sooty mold and top leaves get dried up and lateral buds germinate so this is the important symptom you need to remember and the host range include the sugarcane mange wheat millet rice barley oats sorghum pearl millet bamboo and napier grasses okay so you should also know the host range what are our other host this insect explain sometime in ars exam they used to ask like write the five host of the pyrilla purpusilla so you should know the other host also Coming to the biology, since it is a hemipteran insect, it having the three stage in life cycle. So one is the adult, as here it is mentioned in the picture. It is a brown two pair of wing folded roof like manner, which lays egg in the period span of seven to twelve days. The egg is, uh, they lay more than seven hundred egg, and then egg hatch into the nymph. Nymph having the five in star, which completes in twenty four to sixty five days. Okay. <clears throat> Then coming to the management aspects, so uh, the tools of management, what all our tool need to be consideration for the management of insect. So that I have discussed in the part one. So you can see in the part one. So uh, and the description will be, uh, the link will be provided to the description box. So you, through that, we, you can go to the part one. And coming to the management, avoid excessive use of nitrogen fertilizers and set up light traps. And retracing should be done between 150 to 210 days after planting. And very important thing is here that the Lepidopteran parasitoid Epicarnia melanoleuca is an important parasitoid to control <coughs> this insect. So 400 to 500 cocoon used to be released. Cocoon means in, at a pupil stage. So it has been asked in many exam in JRF, SRF and NET exam like Epicarnia parasitide belong to the which family or which order because generally the parasitide are uh, we used to see it belong to the hymenopteran group but this is very important that it belong to the lepidopteran group. So for that sake it becomes more important. <clears throat> And those at it, I already have mentioned 400 to 500 cocoon used to be released to control the uh, insect. And then other predators. So here are the predators like Brumus saturalis, Chylominus sexmaculatus and Coccinial septum punctata are the important predators to control this insect. And when the insect goes beyond economic threshold level, the Malathion 50 AC at the rate of 2 liter and Dimethoid 30 EC at the rate of 2 liter per hectare can be spread. 
Coming to the another important pest that is a white fly, sugarcane white fly, that is a Ellurolobus barodensis. Scientific name is also important because many times in a multiple choice question it used to cause. So it used to ask in net exam also as well as a Sara Fanaris exam. The family of white fly is the Elluroridae of the order Hemiptera. <clears throat> And then here you can see how the symptoms of damage look like. This is the nymphal in star. So the symptom of damage yellowing of leaves turn pinkish later and gradual drying and presence of the sooty mold. If you see the biology of insect, so adult, they are pale green with a gray white wing and egg. They lay 120 to 50 cigar shaped egg per female. Okay. And the nymphal, nymphal stages complete in a 8 to 10 days. Then coming to the uh, another white fly that is a mealy wing white fly. Okay, so the name of mealy wing white fly is Neomascalia burgi. The family is same Elluroridae of order Hemiptera. The symptom of Hema here you can see uh, how the adult look like. It is a greenish body with play, pale gray wing and the brown spot kind of structure. And these small small yellow things are the egg laid. Egglet and then brownies structure, they are the older egg which are about to hatch. So, same thing black, gray, and white dot like appearance it is seen and infested under surface of the leaves. Host range sugarcane and other grasses and adult. Here you can see the adult how it look like. It is uh, uh, entirely different from the usual white fly. And then egg again it lays the same number of egg per female and nymphal. Nymph are uh, nymphal stage complete in five to seven days and they are oval and black in color. And pupil, like in, in this white fly, generally there is a pre pupil stage, means nymph to if uh, while converting into nymph to adult stage, there is a resting stage that considered as a pre pupil or pupil stage in the white fly. So that lasts for the seven to ten days. So, coming to the management aspects, so avoid the excessive use of nitrogen fertilizers. So, why we use less dose of nitrogen fertilizer, we have pre discussed in a part one in elaborate manner. So, you can see from there. And coming to the uh, parasitoid, we can use the nymphal parasitoid, Ajutus delhiensis and Encarcia. Isaki and predator predator you the difference between parasitoid and predator we have discussed in our previous part one so other predator used are chylochorus nigratus and simnus nubilus so and the uh, the pesticide which we will be using when the economic threshold level goes up um, pest goes beyond economic threshold level. The phenytrothian 50 AC is very effective and the monocrotopus 36 SL is effective to control this pest. Coming to the scale insect. So scale insect that is Melanephis glomerata. Diaspidae family. Family is very important to remember. It used to ask direct question in the meaning sum and from the order Hemiptera. So here you see how the damage look like. It is a thick dark incrustation between the internode region so easily it can be spotted this incrustation it is very hard to scrap you can scrape scrap while using the knife but it is hard to scrap with the nails or finger so management best management because here you can see that how it will use lose the market value and people will not buy uh, this type of sugarcane or they will not drink the sugar cane juice uh, from this cane so it completely lose the marketable value so to prevent this uh, we can use the resistant varieties here are some of the resistant varieties are recommended co 439 443 453 and uh, 692 select the scale insect free sets so this uh, for sugar cane growing we used to uh, use the sets for as uh, seeds so sets should be uh, scale free so we have to check that whatever the sets we are using it is uh, pest and disease free and burns free from the weeds because it it also uh, go to the weed, uh, weed in the off season as the alternate host and avoid repeated ratoon how can you control then again? 
pre-soak the seeds in 0.1% malathion solution, avoid water stagnation and predator you can use the chylocoris nigratus and another is uh, parasychinus horny. So these, these two predator are effective to manage this pest. Then again, uh, the insecticide dimethioate, methyl dimethan are uh, effective to control this pest. Coming to the another important sucking insect of sugarcane is the millibar Kitsenkiella saccharae that is belong to the family Pseudococcidae and the order Hemiptera. Here you can see how uh, it causes damage and here you can see the cane is fully infested and the how the insect look like. Here you can see the how the cottony insect look like. So the insect is pinkish oval insect found beneath the leaf seed of the nodes. Here you can see the node region and this is the seed region, leaf seed region. So beneath the leaf seed region it used to uh, accumulate or congregate and then suck the juice. Then white milli coating will be easily spotted, you can see. And then sunting of main cane and also attacks the root. Management practice can be followed that resistant variety can be used. Detracing you can practice and drain excess water. And then methyl parathion and malathion is found to be effective. Then coming to the another pest that is a uli aphid. It is very important. The ceratovacuna lanizera. So... Uli aphid name itself uh, name itself suggests that how uli it look like it is looking like ool oon. So here he, you can see the cottony masses it is covered with the cottony masses and it completely entirely covers the leaf and the stem. So the sugar content of the sugar can get reduced. So symptom of damage is nymph and adult suck the sap from the leaves. Management can be followed that field release of biocontrol agent like diphyphidiora and micromus and coccinellidis are effective and then avoiding transportation of the aphid infested leaves from one location to another location and then avoiding use of infested cane for the seed purpose and ensuring that the insecticide treated leaves are not used as a fodder okay and then spray any of these insecticide twice in the affected patches so you can control this woolly aphid and the other sucking minor sucking insect of uh, the sugar cane are like black winged fly like blug and aphid and many species of thrips many time in ars exam it used to us write the five species of aphid are uh, four species of thrips which infest the sugar cane so you should know the name and you should enlist their scientific name so these are the very uh, important question and the domain of question which used to be prevalent in your question paper. So then leaf hopper again the leaf hopper uh, that is Pruthiana sexonata is also a, a sucking insect and black bug is the sucking insect. Sometime it used to us write the five sucking insect of the sugar cane. So likewise many question can be framed. So this is all about the sucking claw uh, complex of the sugar cane. So thank you very much for your patience hearing and uh, we will be coming up with a uh, uh, lot of lecture series with uh, all the pest complexes of different pest uh, that is the uh, cereal crops, horticultural, horticultural crop, plantation crop, aromatic crops and we will try to cover all the insect pest and their management. So uh, to get to know about the lecture, future lecture, you can subscribe to the channel. So you will be getting the update about, about the lecture, whatever I upload. Thank you.